Hi, this is Eric the Red here, and in this tutorial we're going to be going through how to download the cache book and install it. Now the first part, which is the downloading, you can use one of these four internet browsers, and whichever one you're using you need to follow the steps for that, and it's quite quick. So I'll just go through all four of them. So for Chrome, go to the download page, scroll down until you get to the free download button. Now everyone clicks on this whether you starting a free trial or whether you upgrading or whether you uh, already registered and you just um, want to transfer to another computer you always just click the same button and it's also for the home version, light version and complete version. So whatever you do just click that same button. So I'll click on there and you'll see that it comes up with a little download link down the bottom. And when it's finished, you click that, um, and we'll be getting to that soon. Then the next one, the next browser, Firefox, do the same again. You click on free download, except this time it comes up with a little box. You click save file, and then up the top right hand corner, you'll see the progress. And then when it's finished, you click the little arrow, click on the folder, and then you'll see we've actually downloaded it twice so far. Uh, and then you double click on that to run the installer. Then for the next one, for Microsoft Edge, Again, free download. Uh, do you want to keep it? Yes, keep. And it downloads it, and then when, you, when it's finished, you click open file. And then the last one, Internet Explorer. Again, we click free download, and then click run, and then it downloads. And now we're going to actually install it. So from any of those four browsers, now we're going through the installer. Install. Finish. And let's just minimize these windows. And now there's two icons over there, one for the cache book and one that's a demo. Now for the demo, if I just run it quickly, with a demo you can go in and you can experiment and play around and do whatever you want to do. And you can't break anything because it's just a, a test set of accounts. Um, so that's probably a good place to try some different things. And then once you want to run your own set of accounts, double click the cache book complete icon. And that takes us to the first screen where we start setting things up. And that'll be the content of the next tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed that and all the best with the cache book.